Broadway Princess Party! So I made my Broadway debut in Mamma Mia. Actually, we both did. Was that your Broadway debut? Ooh. Was my Broadway debut? We both made our Broadway debut. But at different Mia. times. Yeah. We were never in the same. That's we weren't in the show at the same time. No, we weren't. But we're still Mamma Mia family. Yeah. And then I did a show called In the Heights, which actually the movie trailer just came out, so that's exciting. Yes. Um, and um, of course, Jasmine. I think they all stood out to me because my my Broadway debut you will always remember that. Mm -hmm. And then my second show, In the Heights, was just so special because it felt like such a true family. And then Aladdin, it was like originating a, a, a you know, a original Broadway company. It's like, that's that's a dream come true. So they all really stood out to yeah. me. What about you, Christy? I mean, for me, I guess Anastasia would be the highlight because there's nothing like the opportunity of originating a role, which is, for, is it's never been done before and it's brand new. Whereas when I was in Mamma Mia, it was a role that had been done before, but it is pretty exciting. A like like doing your Broadway debut mm -hmm. where it's the first time you're ever on Broadway. Um, I also was in Carrie the Musical and I was also in Spring Awakening the Musical and um, yeah so I've done a lot of musicals but I have to say Anastasia for sure is the most exciting one I've ever done. Yay! Mm -hmm. Do you have any advice for people who want to get in musical theater? That is such a great question. I think be true to yourself. Be who you are. Don't try and be somebody else. Maybe you hear on the cast album or you're watching YouTube. I think what makes for an authentic, believable performance is drawing from your own person. And that's what makes you so special. And that's what people react to. Mm, that's good advice, Susan. Thanks. Um, I would add to that by saying just be really nice to everyone because um, Everyone is really talented and wonderful, but um, I think what will push you over the edge is being kind and, and you know, true to your heart. Oh my gosh, both of those, ditto, ditto. I agree with both of those. And I will also add, whenever I audition, because that's what you have to do when you audition for school shows or for any show or for Broadway or for anything, I used to sit in the waiting room and I would always hear other people singing as they went in and they were belting and I'd go, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if I could do it, right? And then my dad gave me the best advice and he said, there's really only one you and you are so unique. And sometimes it's hard to realize that, but it's really true, there's nobody like you. So no matter what you do, just by you stepping in the room, you are special and you are so unique that you will stick out. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. All great advice, huh, Azra? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any favorite holiday traditions or treats? Oh, treats. Well, all holiday treats are top notch in my book. My favorite holiday tradition is I have little ones like you, and we love to snuggle up in our jammies and watch all those great holiday specials. Oh, oh so many to choose from. I think we have a thing called the Open a Thon where we open a gajillion presents on, on Christmas Day and then we celebrate my mom's birthday, so that's really wonderful. And I think my favorite treat would probably have to be. Um, hot cocoa with marshmallows on top. I love that. My whole life, 
every time I go home for Christmas, my dad would film me and my sister and ask us questions about the year so that we had a record of what happened that year. Oh. And then we put on music and we dance around and we drink eggnog. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. So nice. <laughs> Ashra, what are your favorite things about the holidays? I like spending my time with my family. 